The entire history, you know, human history, you know, and probably what defines us as a species, our ability to make stuff. Makers do things because they love to do them, and they and that's that's its reward. And so there's there's kind of this playful experimentation that happens, I think, in the community where where things are uh, you you just have the permission to do things, and they most of them will fail, and it doesn't matter. In many ways, you know, I took these tools like a maker would, and uh, made the thing that I love, which I think is what is very interesting about the maker movements. These people are taking from the world to apply it to something that they're truly interested in. And I think that's where a lot of innovation comes from. One of the things that I think has really changed is this use of digital technology to drive manufacturing. As a software maker that makes the CAD and the CAM solutions, we need to make sure that our tools are going to be able to work with these kind of high and world class million in manufacturing machines. And when engineers sit down and they look into their toolbox and they're trying to decide how do I make something, right? Do I use a CNC machining, injection molding, casting, 3D printing? They're all just tools that they can use to make something. If, if you could click, okay, click. But if you could ask, then ask. That Siri would be a do engine, not a search engine. People want to feel connected to each other. They want to feel connected to our humanity. Let's help people stay connected to the tangible world by making something with their hands. I think the thing I'm most excited about, though, is, is this, you know, the potential impact of the maker movement on education. And my answer is, is why do you have to wait to be? So when you show students that they can have impact right now, while they're learning, they don't have to wait until they get a piece of paper or something that it changes everything in their education. And it didn't matter what the nature of the information was, whether it was textbook information like math, science, geography, health-related information, but when that information was coming from a robot, it was seen as more credible, more informative. The character itself came across as more credible, more trustworthy. And so the premise here is if we can create a relationship between the person and the robot, their personal health care companion, and keep them coming back and interacting every day. Deliver the right information, get the right data back from them. And so it's possible for an organization to know more than ever about an individual. Um, but that doesn't mean it should be more possible than ever to treat them like a number. The world of technology is racing ahead at a pace that has never happened before. And that's your job, all of your job now it's not my job now, it's your jobs, to harvest this. There has never been a greater opportunity in the history of mankind than to create new ventures 